load a user area that you've backed up onto your computer through iTunes. You're going to go into iTunes on the computer, go back into the Apps drop-down, and then you're going to scroll down to the bottom of that screen, and then scroll down all the way to your Apps. Words for Life is alphabetical, it's on the bottom. Again, select it so that it's highlighted in blue. And then you will scroll through on the bottom here. And now instead of Save To, we're selecting Add because we're adding that file to our device. That will bring you to where you may have saved the file. And here's our file, Test July 2 Load. We're going to click on it, select Add, and you'll see that it now added that to our list of files that are on the device. We were then able to disconnect the iPad at that time, close out the iTunes, and we, when we go onto the device, when you're in this mode, which we got to from, this is our main page with the app, so to get to the editing for backing up vocabulary, we go to the vocab button, choose new vocabulary, and then we're going to go to the menu bar over here, and we're going to select import and export. So now we're importing from iTunes, and you'll see that our vocabulary is located here. We're going to select it. Again, you can change the import title so that we know what it was from, and we can do test two which would be our date, and then we can hit save. And note that this may take several minutes depending on the amount of vocabulary and data that is in that user area. So now we have test two we can select, and that will be our updated vocabulary.